Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers and welcome back to some more modded Minecraft here on The Simple Life 2. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing alright. Doing pretty good here myself. Just watching old Amelia upgrade the Fisherman's Hut to tier 4 now. This is tier 3 right there. He's working on tier 4, so watching from up above from the tower here. Checking it out. Living a good life over there. Our good old fisherman friend is pretty happy to get a nice little hut going. Before it was just like a shack, but you know, now it's getting a little bit better at least. So, um, she has all the materials she needs, so she shouldn't bug us anymore unless she gets hungry. Check it out, our berry bushes are doing good. Starting to grow and expand, which is awesome. Um, let's see, what else have I done? I don't think I've done too terribly much else off camera since the last episode. But, um, today we are going to do a couple of things, I hope. Uh, we're gonna have to go to bed here very shortly, excuse me. But, I have been in the nether and I have been hunting wither skeletons. So, we are gonna go fight the wither, uh, probably a couple times. And hopefully we can survive, so let's grab a bunch of that. We're gonna gear ourselves up first, that's the first thing. And, oh I, I made this electromagnet, um, pretty simple recipe for this guy, I think. I'll show you it real quick, but you, you can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty simple, not too terrible. Oh, I also found out. We're gonna go to sleep real quick. I did figure out how to uh, empower my armor, and I'll show you that real quick. I was being a derp. I was trying to use more than one of the crystals. You only need one, and then as you upgrade it, it teaches you or tells you what you need to do. So you put one of the vibrant crystals inside here with your armor. Just one, and only one, otherwise it won't work. So I've upgraded these two empowered four on both, and I've got night vision on this guy as well. So, pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, yeah, I just need to figure out how to turn on night vision. Is it N? Control N? Let's look in our controls, I can't remember. I did it, and then I haven't used it yet because I don't go underground very often, so night vision is P. Okay, that's fine. Here to go. Okay, cool. All right, so we are gonna go fight the wither, but the first thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves um, some buckets. So we have 16 buckets. That is full of pre-soaked oil. Let's do this. Let's grab a bunch of them. I don't think I'll need this many. And then ink. Let's see. Contains water. That one's empty, and this one contains a bunch of pre-soaked. So let's put this guy here. But that there, and like this, this, oops, um, boop, boop, probably go four at a time, dump these guys out, we're just gonna empty this into here, oops, and fill up on occasion, so the reason we're gonna get these is to get milk, because you guys, as you guys may know, thinking Wither likes to give you the withering effect, so, to offset that, you just get milk and drink some milk, and it'll turn it off. Sure most of it, but luckily, we have tons and tons of cows. So, oh, also, I can't remember if I did, I think I did this before the last episode, I just didn't say anything. I added, here, a vacuum chest, and it's just collecting our eggs and feathers. I don't really need the feathers, but I do need the eggs, because I've been making potato salad. And to make mayo, you need eggs. So, uh, let's think. That's pretty much it. So I am going to open this guy, we'll put that in there, and grab our bow, and grab an arrow, or 27, and let's head down to a bedrock. I'm a little bit nervous about doing it close to our base, so maybe, but actually, you know what, let's go into the mining dimension. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We're gonna fight the wither in the mining dimension. Well, we gotta go underground, though. That's the trick, because the wither, wah, can fly. So I upgraded, with our upgraded jetpack, it's nice, because it contains a lot and it goes quick, but at the same time, you overshoot where you want to go a lot. At least I do. Okay, so let's go down here to our mine. Or maybe we can just dig straight down. I'm trying to think. We want to go this, yeah, let's just go all the way down right here. Woo! Down we go into our mine. And here it is. Okay, well, this is a little area at least. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve out an, a bunch of, oh, I thought this was like some void thing. Basalt, it's just basalt. Uh, so, I've been playing some vanilla. We recently reset our server, and I've been playing some vanilla, so that was a little weird for me to see that dark black thing. So, I'm just gonna go this way for a little bit. We have a little bit of a path to hide from, from the wither, if you 
No, we need it. Uh, let's go this way. That's probably plenty. And then... I'm just gonna... Okay, perfect. Alright, we are ready. So let's get a couple of these guys. We don't need that on. We don't need any of these. We probably don't need any of these. That. Get ourselves geared up. Milk. Down here. And let's do this and this. All right, so we're just gonna do one at a time. I'm no pro. I normally cheese the wither. Um, go s bedrock, so we can't move. But we're gonna do it legit this time because I'm unmodded. I feel like we're okay. Oh, actually, let's throw on. Let's change this. Our leggings to the dark boots. Should have upgraded. Back on. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Let's place one, two, three. And run away. Run away! Run away! Run away. Okay. Let this guy go. The beginning! So we actually have a few nether stars. I've gotten them through the, I think, at the epic loot bag. Or maybe the legendary ones, but... Um, so we have <coughs> nether stars, but I want a way to... Oh, wait, oh, we gotta do a legit thing, go once or twice. Fight the wizard. Uh, let's go look at it. Yeah. So far, so good. Alright, we got the our superstar. Oh yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Woohoo! Got the wither! We got a bunch of junk. Yeah, no, that wasn't bad at all. So I upgraded my s my sword quite a bit too. You can see um, it does 18.66 damage there at the bottom, and I've upgraded a bunch of things too. So we added a netherrack to give it the hellish, uh, which I can't remember exactly what that does, but go check materials and me, me if you're interested. I, added, I changed a bunch of this stuff so that we have a better sword. I added beheading so we get the uh, wither skull. So, there's that guy. Let's open up our... We didn't even get withered once. hey -o. Let's open up our quest book and see how many times we've got to kill the wither. But, hey, we get some apples, which is very nice. Kill two of them and get better apples. <laughs> why, why anyone would want to create something made of such con concentrated evil is a lot is lost on most people. But you are a simple champion ready to prove your worth against the worst the world has to offer. So, all right, let's go fight it one more time. Why not? Um... I'm going to go... We're going to dig us out another little trench like this because that worked really well this time. So maybe let's build it out this way and do the same thing. But I'm going to need... Here's my mine. I was going to say, I swear I had a mine. That's been a while since I've been down here, though. Okay, let's just... We're going to hope for the best. We're just going to do it right here. Why? Why not? Um, Because we don't know how to do it. That's... Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't go crazy. There's not too much space above, so I think we should be fine. Let's change this to the bow. Oh. One. Two. Three. Ah! Where did I go? Where did I go? Oh, what could go wrong? You know, I could just run the wrong way. Go, 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 go. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. And round two. Ready? Fight! Ow! Ow! Well, we got with that time. There we go. Milk. Go. Pull out. Replenish our food. Saturation. Where did it? Yeah. 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 Don't look at me. Oh. We're just gonna kill it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Now let's take our milk. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. We got it ourselves a decent enough sword and whatnot. That yeah, it was a, no big deal at all. So uh, I'm going to continue to keep farming Wither Skulls in my off time, and uh, we'll kill the Wither a few more times. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kill the Wither a few more times if we can't fill this guy out. We also need to go back and fight the End Dragon again. Um, I would assume it's going to be significantly now that we have some better gear. But we didn't hardly take any damage. I mean, like... You know, a little bit of damage, but not too bad. So I'm going to go back to the base. Um, I'm going to get us prepared for our next little shenanigan, and I'll see you all. <laughs> all right, everybody. Welcome back. So, um, yep. those of you who don't know, take your slime boots off and check this out. I thought I would get fall damage. Oop. Do not. Do not. So, um, that would have saved me a little bit of annoyance for a little while. Um, we're going to go up, up. And go to sleep in just a second. So yeah, pro tip, do not <laughs> keep your slime boots on after you've got the jetpack. It turns out you don't take fall damage at all. So, worth it. 
Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of prep work. Today we're also going to be getting ourselves a mob farm. But we're going to go do a couple quests real quick before we do so. So let's go to containment and control. I'm just going to get a couple of these out of the way. So totem wood, that totemic focus you made earlier is just for looks. So totem wood, you can right click on a log with it and create totem wood. So let's get wood. Don't think it matters, so we're gonna grab dark oak. <clears throat> so Tim, it might be inside of our backpack. Check. Totemic focus. What does it look like? Okay, did I lose it? I must have. All right, we'll just go make another another one. No biggie. Make one of these. Totemic focus. Down here and here and here and here. Okay. Boom! Now we've got totem wood. I think it's huge. Okay, quest complete. Very nice. Claim some more totem wood. Um, sacred light. Using the totem wood with some other materials can prove the basic, improve the basic torches and prevent mobs from even spawning within 32 blocks of wherever they are placed. You can enhance this effect by placing the sacred torch on top of totem wood to increase the range of your mob free area. So we need sacred light. Do that real quick, sacred. Light this guy here. We should have everything we need for that. Hopefully, we only need one. Yep. Very nice. Claim that. Get a couple more and punji sticks. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most elegant when it comes to home defense. So let's make ourselves a couple punji sticks. Hopefully, we have enough sugar cane here. Um. Boop 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 boop. Yay! Punji sticks. And claim that one. Very nice. Okay, so this is actually the mob mod we will probably be using, mob grinding utilities, to make our mob farm for the first little bit. We'll get into Woot also, but uh, first things first, we're gonna do this simple one. Um, the first step in really improving your mob defense and containment is making some killer spikes that you can't avoid. Try using some swords and iron for a sturdy result. So we need two iron spikes. We're actually just gonna upgrade these, I think, right now. Um, iron spikes. Guys here. Need three swords. One, two, three. Perfect. Like a so. Oh, we need two of them though. One, two, and three. Perfect. Now we've got two of these guys. Get our quests. Very nice. Claim that. Next is <clears throat> absorption hopper. Once mobs start getting spiked, <clears throat> excuse me, they'll probably drop some useful loot. An experience for you to collect. A hopper with a touch of the end should be able to suck the items through the thin walls. So we need an absorption hopper. And actually, we will be using this. So this is absorption. I think I've got nothing we need. Absolutely nothing. Hey, I have ender hopper. I'm making a ton of upgrades and stuff, so we're out of chests. Chest. Craft. Next. Okay. Then, let's see, absorption, one of these guys, and boom, absorption hopper, okay, very nice, I can actually, spikes, pretty cool, that can go back, that can go back, that can go back, that can, so we'll put these wooden spikes maybe somewhere, I don't know, upstairs in our bedroom, because, you know, that's where we put all our deco craft stuff, Get some bottle of enchanting. Liquefied experience, so this is actually pretty awesome. Thanks to the absorption hopper, hopper, experience is a little easier to handle in a liquid form. You can build a tank and tap it to use your advantage. A singularity tank, which we have a bunch of, and an XP tap. So let's see if we can get both of those. Sing I just I have one. I wonder if I need one. There's that. XP tap. Okay. Yeah, we should have that too. Do. Okay, uncommon loot bag, very nice. <clears throat> Here's the good stuff, this is what we actually want, is the meat grinder. After observing mob, uh, mobs hit the spikes you placed, ideas for more effective management techniques. Spring to mind, so we need the mob masher. This is the good stuff, this is what we really are wanting to get into. So let's, for now, get that bad boy in and that can go back. And that also. Okay, so we need a mob masher. This guy here. I need two more iron swords, which is probably why he had us make the iron spikes. As you can see in the recipe, there's two of them. Boom, mob masher. 
Done. We're also gonna need a lever to get this guy going, I think. Lever. Oh. Ta-da! Meat grinder. Thank you. And come in loot bag. All right, don't push me. Some of the smarter mobs have learned to avoid the masher, but you think there may be a way around that. So we need mob fans, and this is all going according to the plan. And this is like, Guy Factory 3, I did this, and man, did I derp real bad one time. Mob fan, very good. It was pretty entertaining. I just completely destroyed my, uh, my mob farm, and there were mobs everywhere. Hey, Amelia, you did it. Okay, cool, we get two of these. So, upgrading the masher, very nice. Mob masher upgrade. As if the masher wasn't mean enough, there may be ways to make it even mashier. So, let's do that. Let's get an upgrade for this guy, I think. Oh, we need a bunch of swords. One, two, three, four. Four of those guys should get us enough for the mob masher upgrade. Pretty nice. And let's see, we want looting, sharpness, Fire aspect or smite. I think we want looting. That makes the most sense. Unstoppable. So there's never enough mob killing potential, but <clears throat> these final touches to the fans should provide the extra push you need to make a truly unstoppable my mob grinder. Let's make ourselves a upgrade for the mob fan upgrade. Okay. No matter which one I have. Hold on, let's double check this. Mob fan upgrade. I don't think it matters. All right, let's do this one then. Ah! This guy here, with modifier. Is that'll work? Unstoppable. And we want some more with modifier. Very good. Okay, so that's pretty much done. The next step is to go and build our mob farm. So uh, I think we're gonna build a couple more mob fans just to be safe. Three. Four, five, six. let's do, let's do nine, <clears throat> just because I think that's the width of my thing, of my platform I've built, and then I need levers. I need nine of these guys, two, and grab a bunch, that's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I think that's a good start. Do we have any redstone? Conduit type, okay, let's see. Proxy. We'll have to get into Xnet, I think, in order to. Or it is. In, in order to do what I think I want to do, turn the mob farm. Be able to turn the mob farm on and off. So let's go this way. I'll show you kind of where it's at. Way over here. Off in the distance, there is. I think this is a roguelike dungeon. Is what this is. I, right above it, you can see I've started putting some platforms. So I put the top one three blocks below, um, three blocks below, or four blocks, I guess, below build height so that all of the mobs can spawn. And I put these little elevator guys, boop, get us up. So, what the plan is, let's fly up here and grab ourselves some mob fans. I think, let's put these here. I want this a nine by nine area. Which I have built already. But we're going to place these mob fans down like so. So that the mobs get blown off. And I don't know the range of these. So we'll have to see if a 9x9 is too big or not big enough or whatever. Um, and I don't need this to be a massive mob, like a massive farm. It just needs to... Oops. Stand here. Doesn't go very far, does it? Okay. So if... We need to figure out if... Man, that's really kind of a bummer. I want a little, at least a few more. So if we have this with upgrades... Okay. What I'm going to need to do, I think, is... Buy these guys at least one more um, upgrade for... What is it called? One upgrade for... The... Range? Is that what it's called? Let's look. Uh, uh, um... A range upgrade. Upgrade for the... Yes. The height we don't need. Distance modifier. That's the one that we need. We need a couple of these. I wonder how much... It, plus one, max of... Hmm. I wonder how many blocks it'll go. So this one will go about... I don't know. Five 
Oh, it goes close. It goes close. It's like seven blocks or something. We need to update, upgrade these. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn this. I'm gonna turn this off. Boop. Can't even talk. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is. Oh, our lumberjack ran out of ox. So we'll go like this. Fix these guys. Like so. And we're just gonna enclose this with sandstone. Like a, so. This is gonna be a very, very basic um, mob farm. Super, super basic. This is something you do in like Skyblock. You're starting off. Uh, you just close it off, make it a nice little dark area. And then, ah, there we go. Luckily we have a jetpack. Although it does move pretty quick sometimes. So I'm gonna make it an actual square. I'm not gonna cheat corners or anything. But like this. Like a so. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, rather than you guys watch me build this thing, I'm sure you all know how to do it. I am gonna go get the upgrades. I am going to um, complete this all the way around. I mean, we're already almost, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna go do this off camera. So I have three block spacing here and then I'm gonna close it off this way so that even Endermen can spawn. And uh, yeah, so I'll get this all done and then I'll come back to you once we're, I think I'll probably even set up the little mob, mob masher down here. And once that's all taken care of, I'll come back to you and show you kind of how I'm hoping it'll work. All right, everybody, welcome back. Check it out, we've got a giant wall of framed. Check it out, so looking pretty good. I just, it's sandstone and then spruce on the outside, so. Brian Super Pouncy, all right, let's go up here. I've got this all set up, I think. Oh no, I was a little worried that that might happen, but there they are, sure enough, creepers on top. But we can't place torches on top. That's gonna be a problem. Because we're at build height. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm just gonna line this and hopefully. Hi, Mr. Creeper. Hopefully, we're okay with just this amount of torches. Hopefully, they don't spawn on top. Especially during the, the day, they won't for sure. It's just at nighttime, we gotta worry about it a little bit. But. Center, that's okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is real quick. Whoa, hi friends. Uh, let's grab ourselves a bow. And just take them out real fast. Do, 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 do. Okay, put one in there. And he died. Okay, perfect. Uh, hey, it's XP. That's working, that's good. Okay, so let's go to the outside and we are going to place down some of these about I think every other one should be enough. So, right click these guys, ooh, not yet. We actually need to take out the torches. We need to take out the torches first, let's do that. Ah, and this guy doesn't need any range modifier, distance modifier, whatever. These guys, let's make it dark in here. Where did my, we don't have to worry about grabbing everything. This, those are going into the, Okay. All right, before we actually close it off, I think I'm gonna double check and make sure that all of the fans are spinning. And then we should be good. So let's turn these guys all on with torches, or with levers, not torches. And we'll double check that everything's spinning. It looks like it, I don't know if you guys can see the far corner one, but that one, the rest of them are definitely spinning. That guy's spinning, and that guy's spinning. Okay, perfect. Ah, now I'm stuck. Okay, let's go in here, <laughs> get ourselves out. Okay, now we just need to close this off and we actually need to turn on the mob masher, which is, ooh, we actually have some upgrades for the mob masher, the looting one that we made. I was gonna do some more, but I haven't made any yet, so that for now, like so. And I'm here, so let's go this way, and I think it's this way. here, yep. Mob masher on. Double check that that's working, so we don't... Yep, okay, that's good. And we'll close it off, and let's head down. I actually haven't connected these yet um, to storage door, so... Give that a second or two. See if we can't see some mob spawn in there. I think they should be. We're far enough away. I'm 30 blocks, I think, away from up there. Should be getting some goodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, these are old. That's all old. Interesting. No mobs yet. 
So here's what let's do. I think... Bags. We'll, we'll set up the loot bags at least because for sure we're going to be getting them. Do like so. I'm just going to put the loot bags over here for now. These, one of these, these. Not sure why they're not spawning. Not yet. At least I don't think we've had any yet. Wah, wah. This may be a complete and utter disaster. I know the lower you go, the higher the chances for mob spawn are. It's the way the game mechanics for Minecraft work. But we should still be getting some up there. Hmm. I'm pretty sure 30 blocks should be far enough away also. Might have to look into that. Okay, if so, we can always just lower this platform a little bit. A oh, bummer, though, if it doesn't work. Go check. Maybe I can just make my AFK platform a little bit lower, which is easier to do. So that's originally what this was, just going to be an AFK platform. But if I go, if I go down here. Here's what let's do, actually. Let's go back to the base. I need to grab some more item conduits. I don't have enough. I only have 12, which is why we didn't grab very many. That's annoying to hear that the whole time. Let's go grab some more item conduits. I had a bunch um, being crafted. Hopefully they're ready by now. I don't know if these chunks are loaded because it's so far away, but we'll give it a go. Check it out. Harta, nice little city coming together. I think it's pretty much done. I don't think I'm going to add any more mine colony buildings. I think it's all good. Right where it's at. Let's see. I do it. I'm at 16. Should be still crafting more. Oh no, that's it. Wait, okay. Let's go see if this is enough. Hopefully it is, and hopefully this will work. It'll be a little sad if we spent all this time and nothing happens. <clears throat> the reason I built it up so high is so that we'd be far enough away from the ground that mobs wouldn't spawn on the ground. They'd hopefully only spawn up above, and hoping that we'd get more mob spawnage, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Going up, if anybody's spawned yet. Done. Nothing. Nothing going on. Why? It's got to be dark in there, right? Did F7. Yeah. I don't know, man. We'll keep trying. See what happens. But, um... I don't know. Did somebody die? Oh. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's put the item conduits down. And down, we want items. Make sure this is always active. And hopefully we have enough Good to go all the way down. I don't know if we will, because it's 30 blocks. I don't did we have 30? I can't remember if we had 30 blocks or 30 of these guys or not. Oh, we were a little shy. Here we go. A little bit further. Apparently this is not even in line. Darn it. Okay, we can build this go this way. Boop. Okay, and this we want to actually Oh. Yep, I'm gonna have to go get some more item conduits. So I'm going to take those off. It's much less ugly by going this way, and then I'm gonna close off the back of this. To close this up so it's like a closed enclosed area. Because uh yeah. There we go. Okay, it works. Now let's disable these so that they don't get input into the wrong place. They should be going in there. Everything looks awesome. Go ahead and put a torch here and a torch there for now. Okay, so uh, I am going to call it an episode for, for now. Hopefully we can start getting some mob spawns. I'm going to do some AFKing, I think, and make sure that we get some good stuff. But uh, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Truly do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, I guess. Goodbye!